Hello, I'm Zach, founder of Tyro, a company that teaches beginners how to code. And in the next three minutes, I'm going to teach you exactly how computers work. Now you may be worried that you need to be a math or science genius to understand this stuff, but that's just not true. In fact, the only math you need to understand is this. 2 to the zeroth power is equal to 1. 2 to the first power is equal to 2. 2 to the second power is equal to 2 times 2. We can generalize this by saying any number which we'll call x raised to any power which we'll call n is equal to x multiplied by itself n times. If you understand that, then you're ready to learn how computers work. Now, we know computers can store vast amounts of information, gigabytes or more even. A gigabyte is 1,024 megabytes. A megabyte is 1,024 kilobytes. A kilobyte is 1,024 bytes. A byte is 8 bits and a bit is an abbreviation for binary digit. We're familiar with digits in the decimal number system, a number system based on the number 10. Because it's based on 10, values of digits can range from 0 to 9. Each digit represents that value multiplied by 10 raised to a certain power. For instance, the decimal number 12 represents 1 times 10 to the first power plus 2 times 10 to the zeroth power. We learn computers store information as binary digits, which means they use the binary number system. The binary number system is based on the number 2, so binary digits can have a value of 0 or 1, and a binary number like 1 1 represents 1 times 2 to the first power plus 1 times 2 to the zeroth power. Individual bits can only encode data that has two possible values, such as true or false. By grouping bits, however, we can encode exponentially more complex data. For example, with a group of only 5 bits, we can uniquely encode every lowercase letter in our alphabet. It's important to understand that when we encode data, we are simply assigning meaning to numbers. It might be more intuitive to see this done with decimal numbers, but computers don't understand the decimal number system. They understand the binary number system. Of course, you may be wondering why computers use binary rather than decimal. It actually has to do with the computer's hardware. A bit is a digital representation of a type of physical object found in a computer called a transistor. A transistor contains a switch that either allows or prevents electricity from flowing through it. A bit that is set to 1 indicates that transistor is allowing electricity to flow. A bit that is set to 0 indicates that transistor is not. In practice, we don't actually need to worry about encoding and decoding data into bits. Over the years, sets of rules have been created to facilitate this process behind the scenes. These sets of rules are called programming languages. Just like there are many different natural languages, there are many different programming languages. JavaScript is one of the most popular because it allows us to add interactivity to websites. It's also one of the easiest to learn as a beginner. If you'd like to learn it, then I invite you to join the first Front End Foundation series presented by Boise State Venture College, Trailhead, and Tyro. You'll not only learn the foundations of JavaScript, but also HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, Angular, and Firebase.